What is up Wolfpack? Today we're going to be doing my 2020 EDC update. Walk you through all kinds of goodies that I mix and match and put into my pockets, put into my everyday carry backpack, and make sure that I am well equipped into the modern world that we live in today. For those that know, stick around to the end of the video because we're not only going to be giving away a brand new SC4, the perfect survival knife. It's got this awesome finger choil for bushcrafting, but it's also got this thick 1095 carbon steel that you can baton your way to anything. Not only are we going to be giving away one of these, but we'll be giving away everything, everything. Over $500 worth of goodies from my minimalist ultralight backpack. We'll walk you through that at the end of this video. You want to make sure you stick around to that because that's going to be awesome. Uh, we've already given away a bunch of goodies to Dan, to Jeff, to Travis, Toby, Kristen, and we're looking forward to sending out some more to one lucky subscriber. The odds are incredible, so you definitely want to stick around to the end, end of it. So I don't think I've ever done an um, EDC update. I actually haven't done any EDC update, and so I kind of wanted to walk you through some of the stuff that I carry. And obviously, I don't carry all of this stuff in my pockets. Uh, you know, I, I'm mostly going out there with just the basics. Some of this stuff is going in my backpack, but I'm going to walk you through the multitude of options to maybe give you some ideas, maybe show you some gear that you hadn't even thought about and walk you through all this other fun stuff. And so uh, without further ado, let's start with one of the most critical, and that would be my primary firearm. The firearm that I carry the most is a Ruger LCP2. And the reason that I like the Ruger LCP2 is twofold. Number one, is the thinness of it. This thing is super thin. It slides into my pocket and it feels like I can, uh, I, I barely notice it at all. Uh, whether I'm wearing it with the, the pocket carry, which is the one I'm showing you right here, whether I'm wearing it with this awesome hidden hybrid appendix holster, or I've already got a review on this, this incredible ankle holster, this thing, it, you know, I used to carry the Glock 19 everywhere and it was so heavy, so bulky, it'd be jamming into my waistline that I would stop carrying it. And while I know this is 380, I'd rather have a 380 in my pocket than nine millimeters sitting at home. And so this thing uh, is my is my go-to everyday carry firearm. Uh, sometimes I'll carry a spare mag, sometimes I won't, but this thing's, this thing's great. My most common holster that I use for this is this DeSantis Hidden Fly. Um, you can use either use it with or without this Velcro attachment, which what it does is it, it prevents it from printing. And so it looks like a wallet. Once you put it in your pocket, you can't even tell that this thing is on. But honestly, you really don't even need it. This thing does a great job of hiding the outline. And so honestly, I just slip this into my pocket every single day and I never have to worry about it. It's a great, great everyday carry option. Highly recommended for everyone. Um, 380 is nothing to sneeze at. It's a phenomenal round. And if you really wanted to, you could also be using, instead of hollow points, full metal jackets if you were really worried about penetration. Remember, your EDC gun is not designed as a full duty firearm. It's not designed to get, you know, uh, to take down two or three people. It's a get off me gun. It is a gun where you're just trying to make sure that you are, uh, you know, being able to extract yourself from, from the situation and then potentially switch to either a, a self defense knife or your hand-to-hand -hand combat, which you should be training on on a regular basis. And so I feel more than adequate with this. This thing I believe is a five plus one or maybe a six plus one. I'll have to confirm that. But you know, regardless, that's more than enough to put two or three rounds on two or three people. And I guarantee you the third guy, if there is one, is not going to be wanting to stick around to see what else you got. And so I, am, I feel more than adequate with this, uh, no problem. In addition to that, you can see right next to it, I carry a handkerchief. You know, uh, you want to blow your nose, you want to uh, wipe some gunk from something. I keep a red handkerchief, red particularly to honor. Um, if you've never heard the story of, of the, the, the man in the red handkerchief in 9-11, I believe his name is Wells Crowther. Um, he was a rookie trader on 9-11 and he was known to have saved well over 10 lives carrying people up and down the stairs. And so I carry a red umbrella to honor him and, and the bravery that he had, uh, in addition to the practicality that you have with carrying a, uh, a bandana. Um, my watch is here. Obviously, I've got the, the Apple watch on right now. I've got a couple different watch options depending on my outfit. Uh, I love this. This is the, the, the Omega Speedmaster. I've got the Sapphire edition, so it even has the, I don't know if you can see this. Let's actually open this up. I think this is worth looking at. Um, what I love about this was the first watch on the moon. This one is the Sapphire edition. I know it's, that's a little bit sacrilegious, but I love the, uh, the, um, the case back and allows you to see the movement. It's a phenomenal watch. 
Uh, I'm a bit of a watch nerd and I really, really enjoy them. And these things, they don't lose their value. You know, you buy a, you buy a, a nice high quality watch. Uh, it doesn't lose its value. It's another way to store your wealth. And so I'm a big fan of uh, the Omega Speedmaster. I also have the Oyster Batman, the Rolex Batman. This thing has been one of my everyday carry watches for a long time now. Uh, it's, it's almost, it, this has been discontinued. And so it's gone nothing but up in price. This thing's almost doubled, if not tripled in price since I purchased it. What I also like about this is if you're traveling international, I know that a lot of Navy SEALs have mentioned this, what they'll do is they'll wear a Rolex and this is a good, easy store of wealth. And so for whatever reason you needed to bug out of a certain city and you did not have a vehicle, you could trade this for a Toyota Corolla and be spreading miles between you and the danger zone. And so that's great. In addition to that, the Mudmaster. I'm a huge fan of the Mudmaster. I love all my G-Shocks. I've got a ton of these. This is probably my favorite G-Shock is the Mudmaster. It's got a compass. It's got, uh, it's got a barometer. It's got an altimeter. And it just looks phenomenal. I mean, this, thing's, this thing is a tank, and I really, really enjoy it. In addition to the Apple Watch. There's nothing wrong with an Apple Watch. It's a great way to, uh, it's a great just workout watch, everyday watch. Next, um, these silicon wedding bands. I love these things. I mean, they, they basically slip on. I think this was like 10 bucks for a four pack. You've got different colors depending on your outfit. Uh, you can mix and match. I mean, the thing is great and uh, it doesn't really get in the way the way a metal band would if you're working out. You can literally just slip it on. You can have it on all day. AirPods, uh, nothing much to say about this. You know, there's a lot of downtime when you're you know going to and from work. And so being able to put on some AirPods and listen to a podcast, maybe catch up on the latest Joe Rogan, you can turn your downtime into learning time and constantly be feeding your mind. Up top are all my defensive knife weapons options. So um, this one is the KBR TDI Shark Bite. What I love about this thing is it's, it is ultra lightweight. I mean, you literally feel like there's nothing going on. Um, you can wear this one of two ways. Number one, you could either feed it through uh, with a metal, a metal necklace like this. Let me actually show you this one. So you can either use one of these like metal necklaces and fit, feed it through and carry it as a neck knife. You can put it in, you can feed it through your shoelaces. So you always have a knife near your shoes. You could put it as a boot knife or wear it the way I wore it yesterday. I just put this in my coin pocket and it slipped right inside. Didn't need to worry about it. And I knew that I also had a knife. In fact, I, I use this to just pop open and, and cut open an Amazon package. Uh, not everything needs to be just pure defensiveness. Um, in addition to that, you've got the SOG. I've got a video on this, the SOG Snarl. What I love about this is the, uh, the finger hole in it, which really allows you to get a really solid purchase on this thing. Uh, you can wear this as a neck knife as well. So you can put, you could feed, you could feed this same beaded necklace through, be dangling this in, reach underneath, get a solid purchase and boom, you got to nut yourself a nice little get off me knife. And then of course the ever popular K bar TDI knife. I mean, this thing is an absolute tank. I mean, when you put it on, I mean, the, the amount of security that you feel with this thing, you it's an awesome punching knife, an awesome slashing knife. It hides behind your belt. Uh, it's just a great knife. It has a very similar just engagement to your firearm. And so you can, if you know how to draw a firearm from your appendix, it's a very similar motion from there. Speaking of your belt line, I've got a ton of different belt options. Watch my, my EDC belt option video. Uh, the one that I've been wearing recently has been the, um, what is this? The, the blue alpha gear, the, uh, the warrior poet society edition, things like 25, 30, $30. It is super stiff. It's got a Velcro option. It allows you to carry all kinds of goodies around your belt line. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a good looking belt. And so why not? In addition to that, I always carrying a water bottle with me. I think water is very underrated. And so now Jean, I mean, these things are indestructible. Why not have 32 ounces with you at, at all times? We'll get to this. Um, this is more for my hiking slash camping EDC gear. You know what? Why not? Let's just get to it right now. The next is option. So this one actually was on a hike yesterday. I literally just grabbed this kit and I just throw it in my pocket. This is from my minimalist and ultralight kit. And what this is, is number one, it's a multi-tool. This is the one handed trekker. I love this thing. It's got an awesome, first of all, primary single handed open blade. It does a great job. Uh, I accidentally purchased the one with the serrate, serrated blades, but what I like is that it's a reverse serration. So I still have this excellent blade if I need to do some, some bushcrafting. I hate the ones where the serration is up close, so you can't do that. So it actually hasn't been as annoying as I originally thought. But you've got this, if I would have picked this up again, um, I would have got the regular straight blade. And I'll eventually get to the point where I will uh, reprofile this knife 
and uh, and make this a pure straight edge, but it hasn't bothered me yet. In addition to that, you've got a saw. And so, I mean, you've basically got a Baco Laplander in your pocket. And so between these two, you've, you've got some goodies. Um, you've got, I mean, all kinds of, I mean, this thing is, is just great. I've got a full video on this. In addition to that, um, I've replaced the toothpick because you can make a toothpick with wood with the Firefly, which is a fire steel. And so I could be throwing sparks. Speaking of fire, got two, one of two options. You've got the Bic lighter that has some cargo tape. This is uh, Gorilla Tape on there. And so you can keep this thing going, no problem. So not only do you have cordage, I've also attached a fishing hook here. You can use as a sail needle or you could use as an actual fishing hook. But more importantly, I think this thing is phenomenal. We've already done a video on this. This is the uh, Uberlieben Tinderwick. What I love about this thing, I mean, if you haven't watched the video that I have on it, let's actually walk you through what I love about this. Number one, this is paraffin dipped jute twine waxed. And so what that is, it's, it's jute twine dipped in paraffin wax. And what it allows you to do is number one, it gives you in your pocket in a super compact, I mean, this thing just disappears into your pocket. In your pocket, you get over one hour worth of tinder. And if you've never tried to start a fire in the Pacific Northwest or you know after a rainfall, you know how difficult it is. And the way this thing works, you literally just open this thing up, you light, give it a light, or you can hit it with your, uh, with your fire steel. And now you can just st stick this right into your tinder bush and dehydrate your flame. And then more importantly, I mean, you can see how, how bright that thing is. And this has got over one hour of burn time. Phenomenal. And then once you're done, you can just tuck it in and you are good to go. And so this thing is great. And so I'll, I'll always keep this on me when I'm, uh, when I'm hiking so that not only do I have uh, an ability to have combustion, but I've got an ability to start fire. Uh, why, why not? The thing weighs nothing. And so it's a super easy way to just stay top of mind with something that's sitting in your back pocket. Next are my sunglasses. Um, there's two options here. The first one are the Gooder. These Gooder are, I wish you could feel this. This thing is so lightweight. It's like this plasticky, really bendy material. It like you slip this on and feels like nothing. You could see here, it's got like this springiness to it. Um, it's, it's got a little bit of bend to it. It's super comfy. These are actually designed as running glasses and I love just how lightweight and awesome they are. And they look great. They look great on. Um, more recently, and these I actually got sent to me from Core. Uh, Core, thank you so much for sending these out to me. I have loved these glasses. These have become my new favorite glasses. Number one, they are polarized, which I mean, if you've never worn pol polarized sunglasses before, it makes everything just so crystal clear. But number two, this is probably one of the most innovative features that I've ever seen. It's got a magnetic, I don't know if you can see this, if you can hear that, it's got a magnetic opening. And so what I, what I love about this is if you've never tried to like maybe slip your sunglasses into your shirt and they end up falling off when you're bending over with the magnetic closure, it'll actually prevent it from, from going anywhere. And you can actually, we'll test it out right here. I'll show you. And so you can imagine like, let's just pretend this is your shirt or even your shirt sleeve. You can slip this up your shirt sleeve. You know what? This is actually too thick, too thick because of the, uh, it's been quadruple folded. So we'll, we'll do something that's like similar to a shirt sleeve material. We can even do quadruple folding. And so you can see here and you can see that it actually doesn't move. And so you can put it on the bottom of your shirt sleeve, on the top of your shirt sleeve, at the bottom of your shirt, at the, at the top of like near your neckline, this thing won't go anywhere. And so it's really, really good. It, the, the actual glasses look phenomenal. And, um, yeah, I mean, these are great. And on top of that, they're Polaroids. If you, uh, on top of that, they're tactical, they're impact resistant. And so if you've never, um, if you, a lot of people, they take, they wear regular sunglasses to the gun range, which is super dangerous. If for whatever reason you have a blowback, uh, you have an explosion, uh, or even, you know, an errant casing could end up cracking certain glasses and those shards explode into a million pieces and get into your eyes. And now you're out of the fight. And so with impact resistant glasses like these from core, which are, I think are great, um, you can make sure that you're, that doesn't happen to you. And so you can literally take these, you know, from the beach to the workout, to the gun range, no problem. And so these are tip, two of my typical sunglasses that I'll, I'll grab, grab with me. Next is my wallet. Uh, this one's a Berluti special edition. I'm a huge fan of Berluti. I love their, their calligraphy prints. I think they're one of the more underrated luxury brands out there. I also love this one's special edition because it's got the orange trim. I also inserted this little metal metal clip. I know this is like, you know, uh, it's supposed to be like a George Costanza wallet, but I still like these metal metal clip options. And so I'll keep this going. 
Um, obviously, you've got you know your your debit cards, your wallets, all that other fun stuff. But most important for me is my USAA card, uh, USCCA card. And so for whatever reason, I am in a self defense situation. I know exactly what to do and who to call, and so I'm well protected there. Next option, um, I think that not enough people carry notebooks. Uh, I, I love these like super thin notebooks. You've got them from Field Notes. You've got them from multitude of brands. Uh, this one's from um, one of my favorite brands. And so I'll just slip this into my back pocket also with a Gerber tactical pen. Oftentimes when people are carrying self-defense, they tend to only stick with their firearm. Maybe they'll have a knife, but very few people create multiple layers of security. And one of them I think is the most underrated is a tactical pen. And so what I love about this, number one, I don't have to worry about it exploding in my pocket. Number two, it's got an awesome writing nib. Number three, it's got a glass breaker here. For whatever reason, I need to break some glass. Uh, but number four is it's a force multiplier. I mean, if you jab this in someone's clavicle, they are not gonna have a good day. I guarantee you they're gonna try to pick a weaker target. And so you, you've got this sitting in your back pocket. You've not only got an awesome writing instrument, but you've also got an awesome self-defense tool. Also, this is, this, you know, if you're going into a, a courtroom or you're going into a post office, you're not allowed to bring a firearm with you, but you can you can take this anywhere. You can take this on a plane, you can, this is TSA friendly. And so one of the most underrated self-defense tools and this stuff is, I mean, this thing is, it's a tank. This is gonna last you a lifetime. You can always replace this with, um, with what, are, what are those things? The space, the space pens? Yeah, the space pen inserts. And so you've got a space pen insert. And so this thing will last a lifetime. You buy this one, you never have to worry about it again. Speaking of self-defense options, I'm gonna jump right into my, my keychain. This is my pepper spray. Um, you know, with, let's say you've got a dog, you know, an errant dog running around in the, in the neighborhood, or you're in a self-defense situation that doesn't warrant jabbing someone in the neck with, the, with a self-defense pen or knife or deploying your firearm. Maybe you just wanted to get away from the situation. Pepper spray is very underrated. What I love about this one, number one, it's metal. Unlike all those plastic options, um, you don't have to worry about this breaking or, or falling apart in your pocket. Number two, it could be used as a coupaton, and so it can also be used as a striking implement. Number three, this one's very intuitive because the spray comes out of here, and so you don't have to worry about fumbling, about, oh, what direction is it, and accidentally spray yourself. Number five, it's got this awesome uh, safety option, so it's, very, it's a one-handed motion, and so you can really pop this open and then spray here. And uh, it's just, you know, you also got some training inserts. And so I've been using these for years. They're phenomenal. Uh, I re highly recommend them. In addition to that, um, on my actual keychain, I keep this awesome little Kershaw. Uh, it's a $5 knife. Everybody should own this. It's a great little box cutter. That's number one. So you've always got a knife on you. And then it's also got a little bottle opener. And so the, between these two, it is the most common tools that are, are used in my pocket, the bottle opener and the box cutter. I've got everything that I need literally sitting in my pocket. And no, I have never had to worry about this accidentally popping open. This thing is very well made and I really appreciate it. I think I've gone through two or three. They've got a great copper one too, for those that want to have a, a copper fueled EDC. Next is my flashlight. This little Olight, I think this is a hundred lumens. Um, and so what I love about this, um, it's, you know, just a small little pocket, a pocket flashlight. I never have to worry about this. Uh, I believe this one's rechargeable. Uh, it's a great little pocket light from, um, from Olight. The other option that I have for my pocket light is also this one. What I liked about, what I like about this, this, uh, this one looks like it's out of battery. I haven't used this in a while. Well, it, when it did work, um, what this worked is you literally just slide this and you get about 15 lumens. And so this was a nice like one-handed option if I didn't want to twist. And so this is another option if you just wanted a little, um, little pocket light. Back to this. Um, the last thing, the Jeep. Um, I've been a Jeep guy for a long time. The most recent Jeep, I got the Jeep Moab. Um, it's got all the electrical goodies. It actually has uh, failed me three times. It's left me stranded on the side of the highway. So after this, I'm dropping Jeep. I'm, I, you know, reliability like firearms is number one for me. And the fact that uh, number one, Jeep wouldn't back it up. They wouldn't let me replace the vehicle unless it happened to me more times, which is ridiculous. Um, but you know, I just, I, I can't trust Jeep anymore with all of the electronic stuff that's happening inside the, the vehicles. They're just no longer as reliable as they were uh, in the 90s and early 2000s. And so I'll be dropping Jeep. I'll probably be picking up uh, a Toyota, either a Tacoma or a Tundra after that because they are bulletproof vehicles. Um, next, this little Anker, I guess you call it a little battery pack. 
This thing, if I needed to, I rarely use this, but every once in a while, I'll throw this into my pocket. If I'm running low on battery life on my, on my phone, um, I'll have this as long as a little, little charging cable. And so it'll give me an extra little bit of juice. And so this is something that, you know, I'll keep next to my wallet in case I needed to head out of the house on a very quick errand and I am low on juice. I'll just throw this in my pocket and not have to worry about it. Next is just dental hygiene stuff. Uh, so you can either keep gum or these tea tree therapy mint toothpicks. I'll typically just carry them in this Wilson leather, um, this Wilson leather container. This can fit in my coin pocket. And so I'll just have some mint toothpicks that I could be just chewing on. Just keep, keep oral hygiene nice and safe. If for whatever reason I got too much stuff in my pockets, I can use one of these. This will just clip onto my belt loop and I can have my keys dangling, but it's pretty rare that I use this. Um, my phone, I'm, I'm using my phone to record, but this is my phone case. I love the ones that have the, uh, the credit card slot. So you can, if you, for whatever reason, you forgot your wallet, you can have your, your credit card and your ID always on you. I also stick a hundred dollar bill inside of my phone case. You can't tell me how many times that has saved me and uh, bailed me out in situations where I needed it. The next thing is this little, um, I guess you could call it like a, like a pocket tripod. And I wish that I could find something that would you would, would secure this to my phone a little bit more, more, uh, Heartily. The problem with this is that it always pops off, but I love this thing. Um, number one, you could use your phone as like a pocket pocket stand. Um, it also is magnetic and so you can mount it to your vehicle. Um, so I have to remount this thing because these things keep popping off. They last about three months with the stickiness that's on there. But I, I always have one of these just mounted to the back of my phone as like a little pocket tripod. Love these things. Next, we're in a pandemic, y'all. And so with a pandemic comes masks. Out of all the masks that I've tried, I've tried a bunch, you know, the surgical masks, the N95s, which is just too difficult to breathe. I've tried even Adams. Adams has a great, really cheap, comfortable mask. My favorite ones is from this brand called ASRV. Um, what I love about them is they've got this viral off uh, capability. They're, they're super easy to breathe through, but this one's made out of copper nano, which is very comfortable. And then this one has this viral off component, which is a three layered approach which kills viruses in a few hours. And so you can end up reusing this multiple days. But number two, they just look great. This one has the metal wire gauge on it. And so you can mount this on and not have to worry about it. But this one's just super comfortable. They both look great. Um, you can have, they're both very comfortable dang dangling from the ears. And so if I do approach someone, you know, or I'm going into a place that requires masks, I can literally just pop this up and put it on without any worry. Next is um, hand sanitizer. Can never have too much of this in today's day and age. Just being able to pop this open. I also have a spray bottle that's in my car. And so I'll just throw this on there and uh, you know, make sure that my hands are always taken care of. Another multi-tool option, you know, in addition to the Victorinox one-handed trekker or the Kershaw is just this awesome squirt, Leatherman squirt. I haven't really loved this thing as much. Um, you know, it's a little bit awkward. It's a little small. You can see here, it's like, it's very difficult to, to do a one-handed Oh, there we go, to do a one-handed deployment. I mean, this thing is tiny, uh, but it's cool. You know, you got, you got yourself a little, little set of, these are spring-loaded pliers. You've got some wire cutters here. You've got bottle openers and knives and all kinds of little gadgets and doodads. It's, you know, I mean, it's, it's cool. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I've heard, you know, mixed reviews about this thing, but it doesn't hurt and it disappears in your pocket. And so this is another option. We already talked a little bit about lights, but if for whatever reason I needed more light, I could always go with the ever popular, incredible Black Scout survival light. I love this thing, this thing's a thousand lumens. It's got this super aggressive crenulated bezel. This is your number one self-defense tool. If you're walking through a garage and you needed to, to peek down the, uh, the alleyways or peek down where your car is, you literally can flash the light, confirm that everything is good to go before you end up you know, walking your way down. And then if for whatever reason, something scary popped out of the alleyway, I guarantee you this crenulated bezel to, to the bridge of their nose will make them change their mind. And so this thing is great. I'll typically just stick this onto my belt if needed. I mostly use this just to walk, walk the dog at night. And so it's a great, this is like probably my favorite EDC blade. And so obviously I don't carry all this stuff. Some of the stuff I actually put in my backpack um, the backpack that I particularly use and the one that I love is the, uh, 
the one from Peak Design. So this Peak Design Everyday Backpack, it's phenomenal. It's designed as a camera bag, but I just love it as like a laptop bag and as like an everyday office bag. It just looks phenomenal, looks great. And you can take it from the office to the boardroom, no problem. The other bag that I use pretty, pretty readily to carry a lot of this stuff is uh, from Filson. So this one's if I wanted to go a little smaller. And what I love about this is just like the old school rugged design of it, um, the Filson leather backpack. This thing looks great. The zippers are awful. They're they're super oil, like they're just difficult. And then like, I feel like I scratch my laptop when I'm popping it in and out, uh, but it looks great. And this thing is gonna last a lifetime. And so this is just a nice little travel bag. I mean, this one I believe is the 48 hour bag. So you could probably throw some some clothes in there if you just wanted to use this as a weekender. So this is these are these are options. And so I'll probably put some of this stuff in that particular, in those backpacks. And I'll typically only keep maybe my wallet, my keys, my firearm, the handkerchief, um, maybe some gum, my phone, obviously. And, you know, I don't carry every, all of this stuff in my pocket. And so a lot of this stuff I do carry in my backpack. And so my pockets are actually pretty, pretty mild. I don't, I don't carry car. I don't wear cargo pants. I wear regular jeans and I don't like wear a lot of bulk in my pockets. And so, uh, I typically just carry the essentials. All right. So with that, that's the 2020 uh, EDC update. I hope this was helpful. Uh, this put, you know, it took me a couple hours to put together. So if it was helpful, give me a like button. I really appreciate it. Helps the algorithm, helps us grow faster, helps us get out there. In addition to that, uh, let's talk a little bit about how to win not only the SC4, but the everything that's in my minimalist ultralight backpack, including your choice of either the Victorinox knife as a backup, or you can also do the Skeletool. You also get the Uber leave-in, you get some Bic lighters, you get some cordage, you get some tarps, you get so much stuff. I'll leave a link in the description to cover everything that's included. There's over 50, pro like over $500 worth of products. Um, so much stuff that's in there. I mean, it includes battery banks and uh, water filters. It'll, it'll help you get your kickstart on your ultralight bug out kit. And so how you enter, just one of two ways. Number one, subscribe and leave a comment. Number two, subscribe via Patreon. That's it. You do that, you're good to go. If you want a little bit more detail, stick around. So what you can do, just leave a comment on this video or any video and you are instantly entered. Or if you wanna increase your chances, click the link below to my Patreon and you can subscribe. For every dollar that you subscribe, it includes 10 entries. And so for the $3 plan, that's 30 entries. For the $9 plan, that's 90 entries. For the $25 plan, that's 250 entries. That's the equivalent of, of writing 250 comments on 250 videos, which is just un unreal. And so throw, you know, feel free to subscribe via Patreon, but if you don't have the cash, don't worry about it. All you gotta do is leave a comment and you are instantly entered and you are good to go. Um, in addition to that, I'll include a link to a lot of these things in the description below. Feel free to use those links so that way you can get the exact items and not some cheap Chinese knockoff. In addition to that, if you, if you appreciated this video, if you learned anything from it, please give me a, th a thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow. We would not be able to be where we're at right now if it wasn't for, uh, for the community, for the Wolfpack. I'll also be doing a mini giveaway. Let's try something out. I'm gonna do a mini giveaway. The top comment within one week, I'll come back to this video. The top comment, I'll be giving away a, a free Uber, Uber leave in Tinder wick to the number one comment. And so whoever leaves that top comment, uh, whether it's funny or useful, whoever gets the most thumbs ups, I'll be giving away one of those to this to, in this particular video. Um, and so in addition to that, make sure you're turning on notifications. I had to track down Toby for his knife. You do not, if you end up winning, we're gonna be announcing this at 10,000 subscribers. If we end up announcing the subscriber, if you end up announcing you as the winner, you do not wanna be missing out. And so make sure that you are turning on the notifications so you are aware of that. Um, with that, we should be good to go. I mean, I hope this video was helpful. It took a long time to put together, but I, I, it was a lot of fun to put together and I really hope you appreciated it. Um, with that, stay safe, everyone. Really looking forward to giving out not only the SC4, but the whole ultralight bug out kit once we had 10,000 subscribers. Thanks everyone, looking forward to the next one. Stay safe y'all, cheers.